Hello everyone. Welcome back to Odoo Web Cool Modules tutorial. Today in this video, we will discuss the configuration and workflow of our module Odoo SaaS Kit. SaaS is a highly scalable model with zero maintenance cost and less initial investment for end users. If you are already dealing with B2B domain and want to provide Odoo as SaaS to your customers, then congratulations, you are at the right place. Webkul as a leading Odoo development company in the world and a trusted Odoo partner has Odoo SaaS kit for you. The module offers amazing features like deploy it on self or remote server, it offers domain masking, deploy instance in any Odoo version, user based pricing available, add custom apps in the package. Now let's check out the configuration and workflow of the module Odoo SaaS Kit. Log into your Odoo instance with admin credentials. Odoo SaaS Kit module is installed in this instance. So we need to move to configuration tab and click on the SaaS server. Here we need to create a SaaS server. Add the server name, select host server, it can be self or remote server. Choose self if you want to keep the client instance and Odoo SaaS Kit module on the same server. Choose remote server, if you want to maintain the clients you make with Odoo SaaS Kit on a different server than on which you have installed Odoo SaaS Kit. To connect a remote server, you would require SSH details. Moreover, you also need to add maximum allowed clients, like I'm added 10. Add database server details. Once done, you can also test the connection and then save the changes and click on the validate button. You can confirm the SaaS server from here. We have created a remote server. You can create as many as per your requirement. Now let's create a module category. Click on the module categories section. Click on the create button. Add the category name. Select the parent category and save the changes. Now let's create a module now. You can create module to add in the SAS plan. Add the module name. Add the technical name and make sure it should be correct. Select the module category and save the changes. Now navigate to the SAS tab and click on the SAS plan menu. Now click on the create button, here add the name of SAS plan. Add summary if you want. Select SAS server as local host as it is a self server. If you want to deploy clients on remote server, then enable this checkbox. Set DB template, make sure it should be unique. Although this field is auto filled. Set default billing cycle and complimentary free days. You can also enable user based pricing. You can set the pricing as per your requirements. 
User based pricing is explained well in the user guide. You can find the link of the user guide in the description box below. You can also set the minimum and maximum number of users for SaaS plan. And also set product for user calculation. Add SaaS domain. Now let's move to the related modules section. Here you need to add the modules you want to add to the SaaS plan you are creating. Click on the select button. Now move to the remote server section. Select the available remote server as per priority and space. Cross check all the details as after creating DB you cannot add modules. Once done, save the changes. Now you can see the create db template button, click on it. Now you can check that db is created. The created client instance will be cloned from this database template instead of creating new database which optimizes the SaaS instance creation process. Moreover, we can also manage the access rights of SaaS users from this template. By default, the client gets the admin rights for their Odoo instance when they purchase their plan. However, you can also give some specific access rights to your clients to their Odoo instance. Click on the login button. Here, go to the menu section and navigate to the settings. Click on user and companies tab and go to the users to create a new one. You need to add user details and set the access rights as per your requirement. From the URL above, you need to copy the ID. Now move back to the SaaS plan and edit it. You need to enable the checkbox user specific user template. Add the database user ID here which we have just copied. Now save the changes. Now all the new clients made from the plan will have the access rights of the user with entered ID. The changes will be applicable for new clients created for this plan. Already existing clients will not be affected. Now let's create a SaaS product. Go to the sales menu. And go to the product section. Create a product to publish the plan on web. So add the product name, select product type as service type. Now you can see SaaS tab is enabled here. You need to select the SaaS plan and save it. Now let's move back to the SaaS plan. We need to edit that SaaS plan. And we can check related product is added here. Now save it and click on the create contract button. 
Here you need to add the billing cycle details, contract rate, per user cost, number of users, purchase cycles and complimentary free days. So there are some mandatory fields like partner. You need to select the partner, select the invoice product. You can also set the purchase date manually. You can also enable this checkbox to automatically create next invoice. Now click on the create button. Now you can see contract is created here. You can set journal and price list. Moreover, you can also set contract rate per cycle and total contract cost. Moving to the billing cycle, you can man manage the number here. Moreover, you can also see the purchase date of this particular contract and set the billing cycle also. Moving to the recurring invoice setting, here you can set the partner and the invoice product and you can also manage the date of next invoice to be generated and you have also an option to enable or disable the checkbox to automatically create next invoice. Moving to the SaaS server, if this checkbox is enabled, then this particular contract is deployed on client's remote server. And add the domain. The module also offers the custom domain option. You need to enable this checkbox for that and you can add your custom domain. You can also ask the domain name from customer by clicking on this button or manually add it. Now save it and click on create and confirm client. Now you can check this contract is confirmed and says client is linked to it. You can check customer name, database name, SaaS contract. This is the URL and data directory path. This is a path of the admin server where the client's data directories are stored like session or file store. Extra add-on path. This is the path to extra modules which the admin wants to show to a particular client. It is the list of SaaS modules which we have configured. Moving back to the contract, click on the send, send invitation mail button. A mail with instance detail along with password reset URL is sent to the customer. Click on this button to reset the password. Add the password and confirm it. So it is the client's instance and all the modules added in the SaaS plan is shown here. Moving back to the contract, you can also add multiple subdomains in the running client instance. For that, we need to visit the contract page. So we are here. Now click on the add subdomain button. Add the domain name. You can enable or di disable SSL or HTTPS. Now click on the create button. And now you can see subdomain is added here. You can also revoke subdomain. For that you need to click on this button and click on the revoke button. And now you can see the status is changed into revoked. Now log in as a customer and select a plan to purchase it. Like I'm selecting this website triple pack plan. Add to cart. Process checkout. Pay now. So order is confirmed and the customer will receive a mail to add their domain. Here's the mail with all the details and a Create your domain name button. Click on this button. 
our domain name here select and continue so now you can see instance is successfully created you can also reset the password from here add the password confirm the password sign up So we are logged in with the client's instance and you can see all the selected modules here. Moreover, moving back to the front end, in the my account section, the client can also see its contract. So here are all the available SaaS contracts of the particular client. So this is how the contracts look like. It has all the contract details, module details and seller details. So this is all about Odo Saskit module. If you still have any doubt or query, you can raise a ticket at support at the rate All the necessary links are available in the description box below.